So I want to ask you a question. I don't know if it's been asked of you before, but back in the old days when you were called the bad boy of bodybuilding and you were gracing the covers of all these magazines, do you feel like there was any sort of an interest in possibly saying, hey, Mike, you know, maybe you should go talk to someone, you know, about the bipolar depression. Do you think maybe they knew about it? Or do you think they were just in for making money? You know. Well, look at it. The, the crazier I was, the more money they made. Mm -hmm. You know, all sport needs bad boys, and bad boys make sports a lot of money. You know, because you know why? I was unpredictable. You know, you never, I never knew what I was going to do. You know, it was so, when you got bipolar disorder, you're, you have racing thoughts. You know, I could think about eight things at once. Right. And I could be talking to you right now because I'm medicated now. I can I yeah. focus. I never had the ability to. Like, I could talk to you and be thinking over your head about five different different things sure. that I was going to do. Right. So, of course, that would screw you up. And, um, you know, I'll tell you, I trained so hardcore, so it all fit together. All right. You know, and any time... Listen, when you get somewhat of a reputation, everywhere you go, you become a gunslinger. Right. Like the wild, wild west. And everybody would, you know, you know, try to, you know, fuck with me. And I used to tell them, I'd be like, you know what, I'm going to fucking kill you. I'm going to let you hit me. Yeah. I've been sucking about a hundred times. Well, you, you've said in many interviews that you actually wanted to get hit because it would get you angry. Fuck yeah. Like, it wouldn't hurt you. It would just get you angry to never, the point where you'd fight. I never felt a thing. I Absolutely. I never felt anything when this was going on. And if you put all that together, yeah. you, you have um, something that sells. Mm. You know, it, if I wasn't so hardcore in my training, that bad boy shit wouldn't matter. Okay. But, you know, when you have a bad boy like John McEnroe, John McEnroe won. Right. You know, he's a bad boy of tennis, but he right. won, and I won. You know, I went out there and competed against the top guys and, you know, battled.